to my channel in this video lecture we will cover a new chapter of physics that is chapter 1 physical world so let's begin with today's video science and its origin science is a systematic understanding of natural phenomena in detail so that it can be predicted controlled and modified science involves exploring experimenting and speculating of phenomena happening around us the word science is derived from a Latin word scientia meaning to know. The word science is derived from a Latin word scientia meaning to know. Scientific methods is a way to gain knowledge in a systematic and in depth. It involves systematic observations, controlled experiments and many more. Sciences does not have any final theory. The improved observation accurate, to accurate tools keep improvising the knowledge and perspective. Jonas Kepler and uh, used Tycho's brass research and planetary motion to improve Nicholas Copernicus theory. Natural science, it is a branch of science concerned with the description, prediction and understanding of natural phenomena based on observation and empirical evidence. It consists of following disciplines that is physics, chemistry and biology. Physics. Physics is a study of basic laws of nature and their manifestation in different natural phenomena. Physics is the study of physical world and matter and its motion through space and time along with related concepts such as energy and force. Word physics is derived from a Greek word physike meaning nature. Two principal types of approaches in physics are unification and reduction. Impact and uses of physics, it can explain a phenomena happening over a large magnitude with a simple theory. Experiments and observations are used to develop new theories for unidentified phenomena and improve old theories for existing phenomena. Development of devices using law of physics. Then scope of physics is a vast as it covers quantities with less length magnitude as high as 10 raised to power 40 meter or more and as low as 10 raised to power minus 14 meter or less. Physics is broadly divided into two types on the based on its scope, classical physics and modern physics. Physics, classical physics deals with macroscopic phenomena while modern physics deals with microscopic phenomena. Macroscopic domain, um, it includes phenomena at large scales like laboratory, terrestrial and astronomical. It includes following subjects, mechanics, electrodynamics, optics and thermodynamics. Microscopic domains include phenomena at minute scale like atomic, molecular and nuclear. It also deals with interactional probes like electron, photons and other elementary particles. Quantum theory has been developed to handle these phenomena. Factors responsible for progress of physics are quantitatively analysis along with qualitative analysis, application of universal law in different contexts, approximation approach, extracting and focusing on essential future of a phenomena. Hypothesis, axioms and models. Hypothesis is a superposition without assuming that it is true, it may be proved, not be proved, but can be verified through a series of experiments. An axiom is a self-evident truth that is accepted with controversy or question. Model is a theory proposed to explain observed phenomena. Assumption is the basic of uh, physics where a number of phenomena can be explained. These assumptions are made from experiments, observation and a lot of statistical data. Technological applications of physics, several, several examples why physics and its con concept have led to discovery or inventions are listed below. Steam engine, wireless communication neuron, induced vision of uranium and conversion of solar energy to ele electrical. Fundamental forces in nature, first gravitational force, electromagnetic force that is between charged particles, then strong nuclear force that is the attractive force between protons and neutrons. When weak nuclear force, force appears only in certain nuclear processes such as beta decay of nucleus. Then unification of forces, they have been listed below. Isaac Newton unified celestial and terrestrial mechanics. Hans Christian Oersted and Michael Faraday respectively unified electrical and magnetic phenomena to give rise to electromagnetism and many more. Conserved quantities, physics gives laws to summarize the investigation and observation of the phenomena occurring in the universe. 
physical quantities that remain constant with the time are called conserved quantities then conserved quantities can be called scalar or vector conservation laws a conservation law is hypothesis based on observation and experiments which cannot be proved these can be verified through experiments laws of conservation of energy according to general law of conservation of energy the energy remains constant over time and convert from one form to another law of conservation of mass principle used in analysis of chemical reaction a chemical reaction is basically a rearrangement of atoms among different molecules if the total binding energy of the reacting molecules is less than the total binding energy of the product molecules the difference appears as heat and the reaction is exothermic the opposite is true for energy absorbing reaction then since the atoms are merely rearranged but not destroyed the total mass of the reactant is the same as the total mass of the product in chemical reaction then laws of conservation of linear momentum symmetry of laws of nature with respect to translation in space is termed as law of conservation of linear momentum example law of gravitation is same on earth and moon even if the acceleration due to gravity at moon is 1 by 6 that that at the earth then law of conservation of angular momentum isotropy of space underlines the law of conservation of angular momentum So this much for today's video. Hope you liked it and understood it well. Thank you for watching my video and don't forget to like, share and comment my videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.